Yo, what's good everybody? Poldertron here, back with another Darman reaction, and today we got curly haired kid teased at school. What happens is gonna be shocking, man. But yo, I don't know why kids gotta make fun of people for random shit, fam. First it's gonna be curly hair, then it's gonna be blue eyes, then it's gonna be, I don't know, anything else. Black hair or something, fam. And, you know, people are just crazy these days. They're wild. They gotta find a way, you know, a reason to tease kids. But, man, let's check this out. Like, comment, subscribe, and let's go right now. All right, Tony. All right, This fam. is your locker. If you have any questions, Damn, the British don't accent, though. I like that British accent. Watch it! Oh, I'm so sorry. You just messed with the wrong lad. Who's this smoke with the freckled face? Um, my name's Tony. I just started here. Well, Tony, you're not Chill, doing very fam. good stuff. Look at his little arms. Look at him. He's like a tweet. I mean, I think I could just like break him in half. I said I was sorry. I didn't mean to. Teacher speckled him, who's boss. Give me one good reason not to knock you out right here. Because I'm smaller than you. Maybe you should pick on someone your own size. Facts, fam. I hate it when people do that. What are you saying? That I'm fat? Then our big lads? No, I didn't mean it in a bad way. I am gonna punch the freckles out of your face. Wait, wait are they all Mr. British or? Right there. Or is it like in. British people in a? Is it like a British school or? You better watch your back. Next time, they won't be able to save you. Oh, I think oh. I think it's a British school. They are freckles. I thought it was a British kid moving into an American school. But yo, the British accent is nice. He is just in time. Tea's almost ready. Tony, where you going? We want to hear about your first day of school. I don't want to talk about it. Well, are you going to at least have supper with us? I'm not hungry. I'll go talk to him. Yo, what are they eating for dinner, fam? That looks good. And we got the UK flag right there. I take it you had a bad day. It was fine. No, it wasn't fine. That look on your face is otherwise. I made your favorite for dinner and you're not even hungry. I hate this new school, Mom. I don't understand why we had to move. And I told you I'm not hungry. Ah, I see. I take it you didn't make any new mates today? No, just enemies. Enemies? A little too young. Damn, that's actually sad, because, like, going to the school, like, people are expected to make new friends, and instead you made new enemies, fam. Enemy son? What happened? Oh, this kid, Max. I accidentally hit him with my locker, and now he says he's going to beat me up. He keeps calling me freckle face and saying he's going to rip me apart. Really? Uh-oh. I'm going to have to tell your dad about this. Please don't. Phil, would you come in here? Bro, he doesn't want to be a him. snake. What's going on? Some lads at school were giving Tony a hard time. One tried to beat him up. Is that right? Bro, you, bro, you should like... You two talk. You should play it cool, and you should also tell your teacher, fam. Like, you can be a snitch at a young age. Be I don't blame you. He's bigger than me. Who cares about how big the other bloke is? You need to stand up for yourself. I would, but he'd knock me down in one punch. Then get back up on your feet. Look at Facts, bro. This dad actually knows what this stuff is about, fam. Like, you ain't trying to be no pussy, fam. You get up, beat the fuck out of that person, man. Knock his teeth out. It doesn't matter how many times you get knocked down. What matters is how you pick yourself back up again. Bro, that, that dad is good. Flums. Even if I got back up, I'd just get knocked right back down. Standing up for yourself. It's not just about this. It's about this. You don't gotta, gotta be beat him. You gotta have confidence in yourself. So what should I do next time Max messes with me? Time to stop and walk away. If he doesn't listen, I've got a few moves that can help you with that. Like boxing? Yeah, I told you when you were old enough, I was gonna take you to Sunderland Boxing Club. My mate Bobby Beauty could teach you a few things. But for now, I'm gonna teach you how to dodge a punch. So, I'm gonna come in with the right, I want you to dodge to the left. Here we go. Well, that's good. Nice. Now I'm gonna come in with the left, I want you to try to duck this one. 
Nice, good, good. So I'm coming a bit faster now. But yo, this is fun. Are he's not. To he's not his dad. I think that's the bully's going to be ten times faster. So you got to be very out, okay? careful. We're trying to speed it up a little bit now. Here we go. That's yeah. good. Oh, that's good. good. Keep it going. Keep it going. This crap now fills me up. Bro, the, <laughs> the dad is literally preparing him for martial arts, fam. Trying to get the bully's ass kicked the next day. I'm still hungry. I could go for some dessert. Then go get some. I've got any money. I mean, you could always. <laughs> yeah. How is it going, uh, Freckle Face? I love Man, this these. is a classic. My mom used to pack them American lunch bully. Every morning, but I'd eat them before I could even get to the bus. Nice story. If you want one, you get your own. Nah. I want yours. Consider it payback for yesterday. I already told you, Max. It was an accident. Now leave me alone. Maybe I was clear. That's mine. Are you mental? I can destroy you with my pinky. I'm not trying to fight you, Max. Then give me that. Otherwise, we can oh. have a problem. Bro, stand up for yourself, man. Put some knuckle, some knuckle things. It's Those knuckle gloves, man. Has to learn a lesson. I already told you, Max. Not trying to fight. Too late, Spreckle Face. <sighs> Dang! Stop teasing him, Max. Get him. He's making you look like an idiot. Shut your gobs. Shut Stop your what? Moving. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Not so tough now, are you, Max? Be quiet and stop laughing. You know what, Max? If you want it so bad, you can have it. <laughs> Whoa! Best disrespect, man. This is like 2K disrespect. Wow. I stood up for myself. Oh, that's my boy. Oh, it was Max. He kept swinging, I kept ducking, I kept dodging. He even started spinning. He had this blotty man look in his eyes, too. Sounds like those boys are really trying to hurt you. Should I tell the headmaster about this? No. I don't think he'll ever mess with me again after this. That's good stuff. Ah, uh, no. Don't on. underestimate them. He's, he might bring a weapon. Because real, real so shit, they do that. This is going to beat you after what you did to him. Yeah, you might be quick. But you're still scrawny like a weasel. Next time, you won't be so lucky. <laughs> is everything okay? Not really. No matter what I do, there's always going to be someone to put me down. <laughs> I'm guessing those lads aren't your friends. It's not going to stop. I'm always going to get picked on for my size. You young? If it's size you're worried about, that can change. How's that? By training. I'm working really hard in the gym. You know, I know I've been teaching you how to dodge a punch, but... Dude! I think it's time for I you like the way his dad thinks. He can really teach you how to fight. Really? Yeah. Soon you'll be eating lads like that for breakfast. <laughs> but you got to give you 100%. Boxing, it's not for those who are half interested in the sport. Of course. If I really want to do this, I'm going to give it my all. Tell from Bobby, you'll be a boxer in no time. I'm sure of it. Who knows? I might just be the greatest boxer this town's ever seen. Not town, sir. Country. And then let's see who has the guts to bully you then. <laughs> <laughs> from that moment on, Tony decides to dedicate himself to being the best boxer possible. Tony trained hard with his new trainer, Bobby, every day. Although That's Tony solid. was small, he used it to his advantage to be quick and nimble. And it didn't stop him from throwing fast, hard punches. Yeah, you gotta you got understand, small people Before have an advantage long, too. he started competing, he knocked out boxer after boxer. Dang! And within a few years, he became the number one boxer in England for his age bracket. Then one day, Tony got the biggest news of his life. Mom? Dad? 
What is it? She's got a letter in the mail. Read it. They want us to represent England against Ireland. He oh. wasn't kidding. Oh, Tony! Congratulations! <laughs> Dang. Oh, my goodness. I'm gonna show so them all those years the actually kids. went to something. Good job. Give me job. At 14 years old, Tony received one of the biggest honors any fighter could ever ask for to represent his own country. This is what you trained for all your life. This is the biggest fight in your life. So you get all your gold. What's that? Okay? Four seconds out. Yo, in the comments, let me know what that is, if you know. Come on, no, Tony, you can do it. When the fight happened, Tony came fully prepared and gave it everything he had. He exchanged blows and went many rounds with the Irish boxer. Both fighters were so skilled that neither one of them could knock the other one out. At the end of the rounds, everything came down to a final tally. And the judges decided the Irish boxer was the winner. Why? Tony and his family were devastated. Bro. Yeah, he just needs a little more training. He'll be all right. Don't be too hard on I can't believe the living beers. You gave it the best you had, and that's all that matters. Even the stores in love. You can't feel like I let the whole country down. Yeah, but that doesn't mean no, you can't so. keep trying. You didn't let anyone down. Can't believe I thought Tony would win. What a letdown. What do you expect? Just a lightweight, scrawny bloke. Let me be a real contender. Yeah. Bro, Guess that's so fluke. sad when you hear what people shit talking. Yeah. No hey, cap, don't listen to is them. Is that the behavior of a champion? Not a champion, I just lost. Nah, you champions lose. Okay. Look what Michael Jordan said. Failure is a Tony, part of success. Being a champion, it's not always about winning or losing. It's about having the right attitude. If you saw what happened, how am I supposed to have a good attitude when the whole of England thinks that I'm a joke? I like to see them call you a joke to your face. Come on, let's be honest. I made a fool of myself tonight. Now people are laughing at us. I mean, it's just like school all over again. You know, maybe I'm just always gonna be the scrawny, freckle-faced kid. Nah, you you did awesome. I should have just quit while I was ahead. No, Tony. Even some of the best boxers in the world they lose from time to time. Like Muhammad Ali. Like that stop you, Mike hey, Tyson. What did you say to me when we first started? That I wanted to be the best. Yeah. And you'll never be that by quitting after losing one match. So what should I do? You keep fighting. Because like we've always talked about, it doesn't even matter how many times you get knocked down. What matters is how many times you pick yourself back up. Exactly. <laughs> See? I knew you were smart. But trust me, this is just the beginning for you. You're gonna do great things. Thanks, buddy. Never thought I was blaming me. Of course, I'm really proud of you. Now come on, let's get dinner. And tomorrow, we start training again. <laughs> come on. Give me that. Come on, get your gloves, lad. And hey, training tomorrow, training tomorrow, training tomorrow. <laughs> Tony didn't know it yet, but his dad and Bobby were right. His boxing career was about to really take off. Tony continues to take down every opponent he faces and wins every match. By losing that big fight, it only motivated him to work harder and get better. Eventually, he goes on to become the European champion at the age of 16. And Just after years at 16, of work, man? He goes to the 2008 Beijing Olympics where he wins a medal in boxing. Tony's life completely Dang. changes, gaining the respect from people all around the world. 
He even meets the queen. After a long and successful career, Tony dedicates himself to helping other athletes. He teaches millions of people how to box on his YouTube channel and eventually opens a gym in Santa Monica, California, where he trains other boxers. Wow. Nice. Good. That's phenomenal. That's it. Look who it is. The bullies. Well, if it isn't Max Taylor, <laughs> Tony Jeffries. The champ in the flesh, long time me. Are those yes. the bullies? What brings you to States? Ah, uh, we're on holiday. <laughs> I figured while we're here, I'd pay you a visit. Blimey, you've come a long way, mate. Yeah, I'm not that scrawny kid from school anymore who we used to pick on. <laughs> yeah. Not too proud of those days. Really sorry for how I treated you. It's all right, mate. We were just kids back then. Speaking of kids, who was this lad? Ah, uh, it's my son, Andrew. I've showed him some of your old fights. Looks He's like a his dad. Fan. When, in his prime. Quick moves, huh? I've got a minute. Let's see what you've got. Wait, R really? <laughs> All right, mate, I want you to hit this right here as hard as you can. Ready? Whoa, mate. If I was a bully at your school, I would definitely not be picking on you. Thanks, Mr. Jeffries. But a lot of kids have been making fun of me. Any advice you can give my yes, son? Yes, because your dad used to do it, so karma. Yes, get it taught and throw it in his face, just like I did with you, old man. <laughs> that did work, didn't it? No, but on a serious note, you've got to learn how to stand up for yourself. And if that doesn't work, speak to your teachers, speak to your headmaster. I've tried, but some of the kids aren't even my school. Well, you tell them to stop and walk away. And if that doesn't work, you're going to have to learn how to defend <laughs> yourself. <laughs> you, you mean, like, fight back? What if they knock me down? Then you get back up on your feet. Because, you know, as my father used to say to me, it doesn't matter how Yeah, but you don't pick you on someone down. who's like way bigger than you because they're not letting you get up. Again. Thanks, Mr. Jeffries. I, I love that. Uh, could you teach me how to throw a few punches? <laughs> how about I teach you how to dodge punches first? All right. Okay, when I throw my right, I want you to dodge to your left. When I throw me left, you're going to dodge to your right. Are you ready? Hey, Darman fam. I hope you guys like the message. I'm gonna have my friend Tony tell us about Where's his Where's Darman? So when I was young, I got bullied. And one thing that I learned from this experience was never give up. And because I didn't give up, that's how I ended up achieving all I achieved in my life so far. So if I've got one message for you, it's don't give up. That's awesome, we love that. Thank you so much, Tony, for collaborating with us. And thank you guys for watching. And please remember, we're not just telling stories. We're, We're changing, changing lives. lives. We'll see you in the next video. Let's get back to Vinny. All right, man, but that is curly-haired kid teased at school. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'd probably give this a 7.5. It was a good one. I like, I like boxing and related videos a lot. But yeah, man, like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.